Hello and welcome techies. This is a new session on DVD rental database setup. So in the previous videos we have already talked about order by and we have done a lot of practicals. We have seen a lot of assignment questions and in case you have not watched my previous videos on SQL, please go ahead and check them out. I will attach the link in the description. So in today's video, we are going to set up our DVD rental database in PostgreSQL dataset. So database, sorry. So what we are going to do is we are going to set up our DVD rental database. So before we jump into setting up the database, let us first talk about what is a DVD rental database, right? So it is a sample database which has been provided by PostgreSQL and it can be used for learning purpose and a practice and a lot of practice can be done on this and you know this is a really wonderful database this database consists of 15 tables it has got a trigger it has got seven views it has got eight functions it has got one domain and 13 sequences so overall this is a complete package for the people who are interested in learning SQL. You can learn entire SQL from starting till the end, everything using this particular database. So I thought it would be a nice session where we can learn together how to set up our DVD rental database. Now, I would also like to talk more about the DVD rental database, what it is. So this is nothing but uh, ERD, Entity Relationship Diagram of the DVD Rental Database. So as we have discussed that there are 15 tables. So these tables are category table, film category, film language, film actor, inventory, rental, payment, staff, actor, customer, address, city, country and store. So these are the tables, 15 tables we have. And then this ERD also shows how all of these tables are interconnected with each other. Now, if you want to find this particular DVD rental database from the PostgreSQL, all you have to do is open your browser and search for dvdrental.tar database. The first link which you get that is PostgreSQL sample database. So this database, this data set basically has been provided by PostgreSQLTutorial.com and it is really a wonderful database we should be thankful to PostgreSQL tutorial. So PostgreSQL sample database, that is the first link which you would get. All you need to do is open this up. The moment you open, it will take you to this particular page. You'll land here, which talks about uh, the PostgreSQL sample database. It says a summary. This is a tutorial. Uh, we will introduce you to PostgreSQL sample database that you can use for learning and practicing PostgreSQL. Trust me, this is a really good data set. So as I mentioned earlier, this contains this, this database contains this following components. It means it has got 15 tables, one triggers, seven views, eight functions, one domain and 13 sequences. And these are the uh, DVD rental ER entity rel relationship model diagram, which this diagram basically talks about, you know, what are the different tables we have and how are they related to each other uh, what are the primary key in each of the tables? So this diagram is really really very helpful and it is also very important So as you can see this is category table film table film uh, Film category table payment rental inventory customer all these things are given here. So this is a really good uh, database I would say right now when we are talking about installing or setting up our DVD rental base database what all things we need there are pure prerequisites. First, you need to install PG admin and PostgreSQL database. Now, how can you do that? In this session, I'm not covering how to install PG admin and PostgreSQL database. But if you really want to in want me to create a video to install that, do let me know in the comment section. I will definitely do that. But this link also this site also gives you the information let's say for example how do you want to how can you install this on your window so all you have to do is right click and open it up right it has so this can be installed on windows uh, this can also be installed on mac this can also be installed on linux systems right so in case if you want to install on windows all you have to do is open this go through it it is very simple it has provided your download links and you know, a very good document where it clearly shows how you can install step by step so everything is given here try installing it in case if you have any uh, questions or queries or if you feel 
trouble installing it do let me know I can create another video to install that similarly if you want to install it on your Mac you can go through this document I'm opening it up here and it has also given you the step by step so this is a place where you know you can uh, download the installer PostgreSQL installer download page you can download it and you know step by step process has been given here right so try downloading it once you have downloaded once your PostgreSQL has been downloaded uh, you would get an icon something like this if you open this up let me open it up for you so once you have installed successfully your PG admin and PostgreSQL you will be able to open up a page like this right so as you can see I have installed PG admin 4 so it is opening up my PG admin 4 uh, while installing uh, you will need to uh, set up a password so you can set any password right but do remember that password so once you have done that this is the page which will open if you can look into the dashboard right the properties SQL statistics dependencies dependent all these tabs you will be able to see right now now let us see how to install loud, uh, how to install this particular database DVD rental database so the first thing is download the DVD rental file so if you look at this link the first one which I was talking about the sample PostgreSQL sample database you see they have provided you the link from where you can actually download the database so you can download the PostgreSQL DVD rental sample database via the link download DVD rental sample database right now the, the moment when you download it this database file is in zip format that means when you download you will get a file called as DVD rental dot zip and you need to extract it to dot tar format DVD rental dot tar format tar stands for tape archive I'm not going to download it you can do that just by you know uh, you can just click here and it will actually start your download uh, I have already downloaded it and I have copied it on my desktop so let me show that to you so you can see I have already downloaded my DVD rental uh, uh, file so let me minimize this and show this to you so you can see I have already uh, downloaded the DVD rental dot zip format because the moment you click on this link the moment you click on this link it will download the zip format and the instruction also says that the data file the database file is in zip format right and so you need to extract it to DVD rental dot tar now the first and the foremost thing is that you will have to extract it to the in the tar format so in the Mac what you can do is it's very easy you can open up a terminal right let me open up a new window and let me navigate it to my desktop so see I think this is my desktop location good so let me go to CD sorry desktop right now if I list the file you will notice I have temp file I have DVD rental zip file and I have an untitled folder now the most important thing is that the zip file which you have got right this needs to be extracted as a tar file so how can you do that let me minimize this so how can you extract it as a tar file the command is very simple all you have to do is uh, tar hyphen Z X V F and specify the file name which is DVD rental dot zip so this is a command which you can use to extract the file into your extract the zip file into your tar format so you see a tar file has been created here DVD rental dot tar and if I want I can list it so you can see I have a DVD rental dot tar and a DVD rental dot zip this file which I have downloaded from the link and this is what I have extracted as a uh, as a tar file now so the first step is the first two steps are done first is download the DVD rental file which I have already shown you how you can do that in fact I leave the link in the description so that you can directly click on the link and download the file same thing is in Windows also you can extract the file in, uh, as a tar the zip file as a tar file and then the remaining process remains the same so all you need to do is 
The next step that all you need to do is to create a database. So the next step what I'm talking about is to create a database. So here we will create a database called as DVD Rental and PostgreSQL. So now since we already have this, so you can click on this drop drop down button. Now when you have installed uh, first time you will not see three databases. I have created this educational and techies. You will only see Postgres uh, database. All you need to do is on the database right click and choose an option create and then database. Now this is a place where you will give the name of your database. So we would like to give the name as DVD rental right and nothing else you need to do. There is no other thing you have to do. All you have to do is right click and create a database, right? New and give the database name as DVD rental. You can use any name, no problem. But here I'm using DVD rental itself. Now I will save it. I'll click on save button so that I can save it. Now you will see my DVD rental database has been created. Right. If I click on this drop down, you will see all these options, cast, catalogs, event triggers, extensions, language, schemas. Now, if you look, if you want to look at the tables, you can click on this drop down for the schemas and you will see you get to see all these options within the public. Right. You have procedures, sequence tables. Now, since I have not loaded my data, so I will not be able to see any table. There is no table because at this point of time, all I have is a DVD rental database and nothing else. Now, how do we load our DVD rental database in our uh, uh, DVD rental, right? How do we do that? The steps are very simple. So we have completed our third step where we have to create a database DVD rental in PostgreSQL. Then the fourth one is use the restore option to load the data in PostgreSQL. So now how do we restore it so on the dvd rental the database which you have created right click and choose the option restore choose the option restore now the moment you choose the option restore a new window will pop up which will have general and restore options two options first one is a format which tells what type of file format you are looking for next one is file name that means which file you want to import here so you see there are three dots if you click on this it you will be able to navigate it so here i uh, dvd rental dot zip is a file which i have downloaded from the site and dvd rental dot tar is the file which i have extracted as a tar so i will select the tar format right sometimes you may not be able to see your tar or zip file so all you need to do is at the bottom right hand side which you are seeing the format all files Sometimes there might be different file formats selected. So you have to choose the option all files, right? The moment you choose the file format as all files, you will be able to see all your files, star, zip or whatever it is, right? So now we will choose the DVD rental dot tar file and we will click on select, right? Now, all you have to do is select a role name. So let me use a role name as Postgres itself. This is a default role provided by Postgres SQL. So I'm using this Postgres as a role name. And then let's go to the restore options. Now there are a few things which you need to do in your restore options. The, in the sections, all you have to do is the pre data, make it as yes, post data, make it as yes, and data, make it as yes. That's it no need to touch any other options of course there are a lot of things given here no need to touch anything all you need to do is in the first section which is sections make it yes for pre-data yes for post data and yes for data right and then click on restore the moment you restore the job will be created and it will complete it very fast that's why you see you it has a successfully completed now the next step once you have performed a restore you must refresh your database. You must refresh your database. So what you can do, right click on DVD rental and refresh. Once you have refreshed, click on the drop down. And again, you remember initially when we have created this, so let me uh, schemas, let me refresh on my tables also, right? Now if I, let me close this. We don't need this. Now, if I click on the drop down, you will see all the 15 tables have come up.
all the 15 tables actor address category city country customer film all the tables which we were talking about right all of them have come up see actor staff payment rental inventory customer address city country store all of the tables you will be able to see here so this is uh, this is how you can restore all your tables now the next step is let's check let's check let's run a small query and check if we have got the data also so right click on the dvd rental and choose option query tool so this is a place where you can write your query right so let me just populate some data select star from let's say we have a table called as actor so actor right and let me execute this the moment you execute you will be able to see the data so it has got actor id first name last name last update so if you want you can check the columns from here also you can click on the drop down for actors and expand the columns you will see the four columns similarly you can also let's look into the film table so expand film and you can look into the cons uh, columns so it has got 13 columns so let me just display the data select star from film and let me execute this query so this will uh, return you the film table so film ID title description you can see the columns over here right if you scroll down you can also see the constraints which has been used like film language I language ID is a foreign key film is a primary key all those informations are given here so this is how you can actually uh, set up your DVD rental database in your PostgreSQL and since you know that I am using this particular database for preaching purpose for educational purpose so if you want you can set this up and you will be able to follow all my videos all my practical sessions all my assignments starting from basic SQL to advanced SQL you will be able you will be able to learn everything right so we have also done the sixth step which is run the sample query for testing and in case if you want to continue learning SQL, Python, data science, machine learning or artificial intelligence because these are the upcoming sections, right? Please like and subscribe my channel. Also hit the bell icon to receive the notifications for my upcoming videos. Thank you so much for your time and patience. You have a great day ahead. Thank you.